really pleased to spend the whole afternoon here in the, in the kitchen and, yeah. and showing some of our delights that we do at, at, uh, at Mr. Bianco. You know, we're not a big restaurant, we're a small restaurant, but you know, um, people love us and keep coming back and thank you for the opportunity. Well, um, your, your history and your roots are from um, Sicily, mm -hmm. is that right? Yeah. So yeah. tell me how, how did you become a chef? How did you get into oh, it? Oh, wow. <clears throat> um, it's, um, it's, it's a long story. Um, Probably the short version. I'll give you the, yeah, the short version. <laughs> so we've got, what, two or three hours? Yeah. It? Okay. Yeah, three at the most. Fantastic. <laughs> so it, really it's all about mum. Um, you know, cooking with mum, everything was about, and, and in our family everything was about food. Um, is that normal my, for most Italians, though? Yes, normal. Seems yes, to be... yes, and no. Yes, <clears throat> yes, and no. Um, and, and food brings the, the family together. You know, coming to a, um, um, another country, uh, having you know the family all kind of broken up, and it was a time where on Sundays and so on, I've got some really vivid moments of obviously the family together and so on. And the food was very simple, but it's all it was always full of flavour. You know, mm -hmm. things like I can still taste the tomato sauce, I can still taste the pasta and, and all the different roasts and things like that that we did. Now you've been very lucky to well it's not lucky, you've worked incredibly hard, but to go mm -hmm. to Italy mm -hmm. and I guess work your butt off under some yeah. of the um, top Michelin star sure. chefs and people like that. Was it that is. hard? Oh it's it's very hard I can't and, even and imagine it. And 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 to say it wasn't hard, you know, being there for, for quite some time and coming back. But one thing that um, you do come back with is basically a tolerance and a resilience mm. to working hard. And smacks around the back of the head with fry pans. That's okay. You know, sometimes <laughs> it's needed. What are your favourite things to cook? Oh. Um, like if you're not actually cooking for guests in your restaurant, mm -hmm. you're just cooking for fun, if there is such a thing. Right. There's a few things. Um, I love cooking pasta. Uh -huh. um, I love doing uh, things like, you know, healthy elements as well. Uh, things from the back garden, you know, the zucchinis that we have or beans or, or you know, slow braises. Mm -hmm. uh, things that obviously, again, doesn't need, doesn't require you to stand over the, the oven all day. Something that you can put in, put in, the, in, the, in the stove and let braise and then take out and, and, it's, and it's ready. So most of the things that you do produce in the kitchen, 90% of it is that is obviously the, the hand selecting and having good suppliers and making sure that mm -hmm. the ingredients you know, uh, things that you want to use. And I always say- and seasonal? I'm seasonal as well yeah, yeah. and local. Um, and it's, and I always say, if I'm not going to eat it and I don't like it, it's not going on the menu. And I don't, I don't want my customers to, or you know, the people around me to. So um, that's really it. It's very simple, local, seasonal, and make sure that it's just full of flavor packed all the time. And the chefs that we have mm. in Melbourne or in Sydney and, and the skill level- But more Melbourne. Yeah, more Melbourne. <laughs> Um, the skill level that we have to offer to our young kids mm. that are going through the ranks of, uh, of hospitality is, is fantastic. You know, you can go to any good restaurant and if you're serious in what you want to do, you can achieve whatever you like. There's okay. no doubt. Well, you've certainly had a lot of experience. Um, you've had quite a few different restaurants that you've owned mm -hmm. over the years and you're the chef and the owner, which... Mm -hmm. which and the know, HR and the cleaner. And, the, and, the, <laughs> and a bit of everything. Yeah. Um, and I guess that's quite a unique skill set as well because there are a lot of chefs who mm. actually don't have, you know, the commercial, I guess, knowledge and skills mm. because it can be a very, very cutthroat, hard industry to be it in. It is. It is. One thing I love about your restaurant is that mm. you have a lot of females in the kitchen mm -hmm. and, and it's really, you know, there aren't a lot of young female apprentices coming through sure. and I think that they don't tend to last because, you know, there is a bit of a sometimes interesting culture there in is. the kitchen. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. Um, um, so, you know, and they seem very happy and mm. it's great. Um, however, I see, you know, in our industry, for example, in, in hospitality at the moment, I do see a lot more females coming through, um, whether to do back of house or front of house. Mm -hmm. The female uh, heads of state, if we, we call them, or the, the ones that are, are leading leading lights, mm. uh, f uh, female chefs that have the done... The Nikki really... Reamers of this world. Exactly. Mm. You know, they've actually shown um, that, you know, that, that you can do it. Mm. Um, and they're, they're great things. Obviously, the family unit and, and so on has changed as well, you know, mm. before... You, just, you know, by 25 or 26, you'd be married and have, you know, children yeah. and things like that. That's all changed. So a lot of those those components have, have changed as well. I can't say too much, but you've got a few other projects 
on the boil that are coming up? Well, I hope so, yeah. There are there are a few things. There's some about to sign. There are some things that are coming up. But I'm yeah. really energised and I think in the next uh, few years, you know. I'm, it's very exciting. It is. It's very exciting. <clears throat> Great. So today, just quickly run us through mm. the dishes that you've made for us, which you can see on the website. Sure. Mm. So obviously the first dish that we did was a very simple pasta dish, homemade, uh, homemade tomato sauce. Stunning. Meatballs. Uh, olive, the beautiful olive oil that we've got from Martin uh, at the end, Thanks, which Marty. was yeah, and um, then we did um, the lovely tuna dish, which is you know uh, synonymous mm. with uh, with uh, with Mr. Bianco, very flavoursome, and um, then we did the, uh, the we've done the paella, uh, which is still in the oven, about to come out, and the bracciole, which is one which is probably my fa my favourite. It's uh, really food, good. Food I've never Whether had it be on before. the barbecue or, or in the oven. And for dessert? Dessert, we're going to do a very quick, simple canolo uh, filled with fresh ricotta from the boys from That's Amore Cheese. And Yum. we'll take it from there. Awesome. So, thank you, Joe, for coming in today and sharing some of your amazing knowledge. And, you know, you're a brilliant teacher, actually. And, oh, thank you. you know, going through all your dishes, and you can get them all online here. And if you haven't been into Mr. Bianco, then you need to go. It's really, really, really delicious and you. you'll love it. Yeah. Great opportunity. Thanks very much. I really yes. enjoyed myself today. Thanks, Thanks. Joe. Thank you.